علوم the knowledge of the science of hadith moved from the Arab world in the last century it moved to the subcontinent Sheikh Abdul Fattah Abu Ghudda Rahimahullah used to say that the knowledge of hadith moved from the Arab world and in the last century it moved to the Indian lands and this is why we see that in the recent 100 years great scholars like Al-Imam Anwar Shah Kashmiri Rahimahullah he wrote a commentary on Sahih Al-Bukhari we have Shaykh Khalil Ahmed Sahrampuri Rahimahullah writing a commentary 20 volumes on the Sunan of Abi Dawood you have Shaykh Zakaria Al-Kandalahwi Rahimahullah writing Awjuz Al-Masalik 16 volumes commentary on the Mawatta of Imam Malik you have Shaykh Shabir Ahmed Uthmani writing commentary on Sahih Muslim and our Shaykh Mufti Taqi Uthmani also writing the completion of that in Arabic and this is not to put down Arabs at all this is just to show that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can give barakah, blessing and gift and the ni'mah to whoever he wants if you look at the six books of Hadith Right? None of them came from the Middle East. In fact, Imam Abu Dawood came from Sijistan, which is Eastern Iran today, on the border with Afghanistan. If you look at Imam Muslim, Ibn al-Hajjaj and Naysaburi, he came from Nishapur. Nishapur is Northeast Iran. If you look at Imam Ibn Majah, Qazwini, Qazwini is in Northwest Iran. If you look at Imam Nasai, Nasa, is actually in the southern, is closer to the southern border of Turkmenistan with Iran. And if you look at Imam Bukhari, Imam Bukhari is from Bukhara, which is in Uzbekistan today. And if you look at Imam Tirmidhi, he came from Tirmidh, which is again in the southeastern border of Uzbekistan with Afghanistan. Right? If you look at Imam Shashi, uh, he came from Tashkent. Tashkent is Shash. Abu Layth al-Samarqandi, rahimahullah, he came from Samarqand. Some of our greatest scholars in fact, the six people who pretty much everybody knows, they have the canonized collections, they came from these areas. It's amazing. It's just totally amazing. That's why for fiqh today, where the work is happening for formulation of fatawa, it is in the subcontinent. Right? It is in the subcontinent. Because when you look around the world, for Hanafi fiqh especially, you will not see these big collections that Mufti Muhammad spoke about in any other country. In that diversity, so many people doing it at once. We have at least 15 such major collections, right? That's just totally amazing. Anyway, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to follow in the footsteps. So if you can't do it, we need to encourage our children to do it. But somebody needs to take this great heritage into the English language and, and then further it. To, to spread it and to further it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillah.